everyone, welcome back. Today we have a Power Wheels that we found in the trash. And as we're taking it apart to see what we got, what we're dealing with here, you see that the battery's missing. But I do have some battery leads. There's some hefty battery leads. So Power Wheels are either gonna be 12 volt or they're gonna be six volt. So I figure, let's do it one better. Let's convert it over to lithium. We're gonna use a six amp hour battery and this could be 20 volt. That should mean that this car is going to go faster. Now they sell these kits. I will leave a link in the video description below. These kits right here are readily available. They are a battery adapter for either DeWalt, Milwaukee. You can get them for all different brands. I use DeWalt because I got a lot of DeWalt batteries floating around. Now there are some uh, different kits. Some kits won't include a fuse. Always use a fuse, folks. And some of them do not include a power switch. Now, a lot of devices can have parasitic leaching from batteries, so when you're done playing for the day, always switch it off. And we use the off switch as a safety feature so that, you know, when a kid goes to get in the power wheels and he puts his foot accidentally on the accelerator, like I said, it's going to go faster than the original power wheels because we're now shooting for 20 volts. Make sure that it's safe until the kid's ready and that's why we have a power switch. This is gonna be pretty simple. We have just two wires, We've got a red and a black. And then I've got a white and a black over here and it doesn't really describe what they're good for. So we're gonna to have to take a guess on that, all right? So we got some Wagyu, Wagyu connectors right here. Pretty simple. These ones here, they got a little lever. You open them up, put your wires in from each side, and then you close down the latch, and Bob's your ante. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the original battery connector. Now, always leave a little bit of material. That way there, if you ever want to convert it back, you can do it. So we're going to cut it off right about there. This is a automatic set of wire strippers. Works like a champ. Now, this could go 50-50 because this is not a traditional wiring code, white and black. I'm assuming black is going to be hot, kind of like AC. But then again, in some DC, especially DC overseas, black is like a ground. So what we're going to do to figure that out is we're going to put a fuse in this bad boy. And let's see, what, what size fuse is it? 30 amp, all right, that's, that's pretty hefty. I'm gonna install our 30 amp fuse, which is definitely gonna go in tight. There it is. Put our cover on. And then we're gonna go ahead and insert our battery. And let's make sure that this guy isn't gonna hit anybody. All right. So what we've got, we've got a couple buttons right here. We've got a forward and reverse, and then we got the gas pedal. And that's it, it's pretty simple. So hopefully when we connect this guy up, it'll start singing a song or something, that'll tell us that we got the correct polarity. So let's go ahead, let's try black to black, white to red. Let's see, are we on? Okay, now we're on. And I got nothing. Let's try to switch them around. Black to white. All right, and we have nothing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is connect this guy and... <laughs> okay, all right, so that just hit me and that was really powerful. Okay, so that's forward. So I believe it is black to black, red to white. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and install our clips. These are super easy. I dig those. Okay, black to black, red to white. Okay, let's try it. There we go. All right, so now we can just tuck the 
battery down and inside it, along with the wiring harness. It is currently powered on. And now let's go and get our test subject. Okay, go ahead and sit in. She doesn't know anything about what's about to happen. She's my guinea pig. Is it a little tight? Whoa. Oh, that's fast. That is fast. Oh my goodness. Try again. Hit it. Can you do a donut? Like turn the wheel really sharp and then hit the gas. Is it not working? Okay. All right, we are converting this system over to 20 volt. Okay. You can see the battery right there, but here are the replacements. So what I ended up doing is I bought replacement motors. These are 24 volt, but you can tell the transmission is different than this style right here. So what I had to do is these are universal motors. They change back and forth uh, between the different transmissions. You can see this one's got a bent shaft because what I had to do is heat it up and then carefully extract the large spur gear that's on here and then extract the skinny gear that was on those ones. So those are 24 volt motors, these are 12 volt motors. That was causing part of my overcurrent which is popping fuses and eventually smoked one of the motors because lithium batteries do not care. They will give you all the beans even if you don't want them and uh, that's why we go to 24 volt motors. These have better windings. They're gonna handle 20 volt better. Now they're not gonna run as fast. Obviously, if we're double volting the 12 volt motor, it's, it's really running its heart out. But I put it back on the old transmissions, reassembled it, the wires are soldered up, and I run it to check for polarity. Oh yeah, it's got some beans. All right, so both those motors are technically running in parallel, and uh, it's all done through the switch down here. There's no real electronic um, throttle controller. It's really just, I, th I think it's a dead nut switch, and as soon as you hit it, it hits. So um, it's ready to go. We gotta put the seat back on and uh, take it out for a spin. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. I would say that's a win. It works. We're good. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below with what you'd like to see in future videos.